Good afternoon everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills and today's video is a stay at home cooking using Mark's new deep fryer just before our uh, shutdown here. Uh, we knew it was coming within a day so we rushed out and did our last minute purchases that we wanted and Mark has been wanting a deep fryer for forever since our last one uh, self-destructed or whatever since I threw it out. I don't know what happened to it. Um, but um, yeah, so he's been wanting one of those and uh, we also wanted to purchase uh, the larger large, uh, lodge skillet, uh, similar to the one that I found at the thrift shop. We loved it so much that we um, bought the, wanted to buy the 12 inch and uh, we did um, go to one of our favorite uh, kitchen supply places to buy that specifically. So, anyway, this little video is about, uh, yeah, Mark has suggested he was quite willing to uh, have me do a video of him making some spring rolls. And uh, I think if he keeps this up, we're going to have to change the name to his and her homestead skills. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video. Okay, Mark has bought his deep fryer and now he wants to make a whole bunch of spring rolls. So we bought some spring roll pastry and he's putting together the ingredients, which is what, Mark? Okay, so far in, I've got garlic and uh, ginger in here. Probably about four cloves of garlic and, how do you describe ginger, about three cubic inches of uh, ginger. Okay, and we've also got two bags of shrimp. So I'm just going to leave him to it and uh, see what happens here. Yeah, I think this is done now, so I'm off to peel some shrimp. Okay. Okay, now the next step is now that I've shelled the, ship, the shrimp, we're going to fry them up quickly in some peanut oil on kind of a medium-high heat. All right. Okay, we're just going to cook these on a medium high heat for about a minute or so on each side. As soon as they change color they're cooked and we don't want to overdo them because that just makes them tough. Next step, we are going to chop the shrimp up because they will not fit inside of the egg roll wrappers if, uh, unless we do. So we'll get a few of them out here. We're just going to cut them up. Ah. going to combine the ingredients and mix them up with chopped shrimp. Next the green onions. There's a half a dozen of these that I 
chopped up pretty fine. You can also use fine, oh, you can also use finely grated carrot if you want to make it a little bit sweeter, but I haven't done that today. Ooh, you can certainly smell the garlic and uh, ginger in here. I'm thinking I might have gone overboard on the ginger, but we'll figure that out when the time comes. I'll just keep mixing till everything's uh, well mixed. Okay, we just mixed up a, an egg, beat it up pretty good, because it's going to help us seal the egg rolls. I'm sorry, spring rolls. We start by getting some beaten egg across the end. We put about a tablespoon of shrimp mixture at the opposite end. And then we roll it up. And it's very important that these seal because if they don't, they will come apart in the deep fryer and you will be throwing it all away. It's also important that you fold the ends in because otherwise the oil will get inside and once again, you will have something that you're not going to be able to, be able to eat. Okay, so Mark has finished making the spring rolls. And how many did you get, Mark? Uh, geez. 37 there, 38, 39, 43. 43, okay, so we're going to freeze some of these. Are you taking some out for dinner for Oh, yeah, we're, 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 we're going to freeze uh, 28, two bags of 14. Okay, sounds good. So, so we'll us... freeze those and then we'll have them for meals another day. Yep. Ready made. That's without the plan. Having, without having to go through all the work. Out of the freezer, into the fryer. <laughs> okay. I love it. I think this is what you bought that for, Mark. That's uh, one of the things I bought it for. They're handy things to have. And we're cooking these at about 360 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which is 180 or something Celsius, and they're going to cook for about five or six minutes. We're just going to let these guys sit here for a minute or two, uh, drain themselves a bit. When I take them out, I always put them on a piece of paper towel to uh, allow them to drain a little more as they cool. I think it's a spring roll dinner tonight. Soup and spring rolls. Soup and spring rolls, yeah. Well, I hope you uh, found this video somewhat informative and that you enjoyed it. And hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.